WhatsApp, WhatsApp, Africa, Europe, South America, North America, Australia, Antarctica. This is Matthews and welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Actually, it feels so strange to make a video after a long time. I was busy with school studies because this year I'm graduating. But it's good. It feels good to be back. And without wasting much of your time, in today's video we are going to talk about sanctions, sanctions, sanctions and how these sanctions have affected foreign students in Russia. Time check, it is almost 8 p.m. but the sun is still gazing, is still shining, scorching and the temperature is about plus 18. It is summer. Finally, it is the time that we've all been waiting for. I would start by saying that when Russia was sanctioned from February, foreign students or foreigners who live in Russia were left in limbo because they did not know what to do. Everything was blocked and it was a very tight moment and it was a very difficult moment to each and every foreigner in russia and i'll explain why as you are watching don't forget to like this video because i love you and thank you very much for your support and what happened is when russia was sanctioned almost about 1200 companies left Russia and what are some of these companies? We can talk of Amazon, Adidas, DHL. People couldn't send parcels as at now, or they cannot send parcels to different countries because DHL is the most reliable and <clears throat> company that most of the people they use. It had a great and it still has a great impact on foreign students who are in Russia because you cannot receive maybe traditional food like me. I cannot ask for traditional food from Africa. They can't send. The other companies, we can talk of Disney, Coca-Cola, but these companies, they left theoretically. Practically, they are still operating. You can also talk of McDonald's, FIFA, yeah, even FIFA left. Just imagine UEFA and Netflix. You know, Netflix is one of the most um, convenient app that the majority use to watch movies. And it's going to be difficult for us to watch movies because on Netflix you can stop watch a watching a movie and you start where you stopped but right now when you're watching on other apps you have to find where you stopped things have become so difficult inconveniencing especially on the part of netflix you can talk of uber yeah uber is leaving but it's an advantage for some local companies in russia and as a youtuber the saddest thing is most of the Russian YouTubers got demonetized. They cannot monetize their channels out of Russia or in Russia, meaning they cannot receive money. They cannot earn a living from YouTube. I can even imagine those people have been doing YouTube for so long and it's their source. It's their only source of income. Indeed, sanctions are not only affecting the government, but even ordinary people just like anyone russians foreign students it is the second point is as foreign students we cannot receive money from home or we cannot use money in our zambian cards like me i'm from zambia but i cannot use money in the zambian card why because Visa and MasterCard, they all left Russia. That means if I've got money, 
in that account or in that card i cannot withdraw it and this law applies to russians who are abroad if they've got a russian card they cannot use it in that particular country because everything is blocked on top of that russia was disconnected from swift payment meaning you cannot make payments countries if you want to buy something on that express maybe ebay or maybe amazon you can't do that because of that as they say medically if you are not infected then you are affected it's the same thing when we talk about the sanctions in russia and on top of that western union is also not is <clears throat> not operating in russia if you are watching this video outside russia please do leave a comment and let me know how these sanctions have affected your day-to-day -day life it could be europe i heard like even other countries now are feeling the effects of these sanctions on russia because the prices of oil the prices of goods the prices of wheat has drastically gone up please do let me know in the comment yeah. section and this leads me to the next point me i'm on scholarship yeah like the government pays for everything but there are other students who are on self sponsorship <clears throat> and they cannot pay money for their universities or maybe dormitory or they're almost broke because western union is not working their parents cannot send money to russia um they cannot use their cards from home because russia has been disconnected from swift payment has been disconnected from visa and master card so it's kind of hard for them and Others have just opted to leave Russia at this point. But on top of that, the air ticket now is much, much expensive, like twice the price. So these sanctions on Russia has got, have got a great impact on us foreign students because we are used to do things between countries now we have just been you know enclosed in one vessel you cannot send money abroad you cannot receive money from home they don't even know what to do how they are going to pay for their um, fees because of these sanctions yeah this moment is one of the hardest moment for foreign students in russia because our lives are kind of on stop you can't do anything like things of dealing with money between countries and i hope very soon things will get back to normal we'll start living a normal life if you are one of the foreign students watching this video i would just like to say that please stay strong during this moment it is a very trying moment i would say because when these sanctions were introduced i was highly affected emotionally um, psychologically mentally i couldn't I was not even in the mood of doing anything but just stay strong you know there is this law newton's third law of motion for every action there is a reaction so because of the sanctions the cost of living in russia as sky rocketed like no man's business the prices of goods have just gone up 
maybe above 30 or 40 percent and us foreigners and Russians as well we are feeling this impact greatly because I would say you can talk of bread you can talk of rice these are the things that we eat each and every day but the prices now have gone up twice you can talk of cooking oil sausage vegetables chicken cheese and of course noodles things that we just you know when you don't have money but they are also expensive i remember we could buy one pack of noodle at maybe 15 or 20 rubles if i'm not mistaken but right now it's about 35 to 40 rubles this is how expensive life has become for us even if you had money it's almost like just kind of useless basically we are spending more money on buying food every day because the prices have gone up for example i'm one person i don't like cooking yeah buy like maybe fast food kind of a thing so life has become more expensive and right now i've even learned how to cook food every day and because other companies are kind of leaving russia there is a lot of inconveniences with logistics with other products and because of this you are going to find that most of the shelves are running out of stocks companies cannot deliver goods or groceries to russia or maybe because companies cannot be paid because russia has been disconnected to swift yeah it's kind of difficult most of the shelves are empty but we are surviving by the grace of god yeah i just wanted to let you know how we students here foreign students are coping up with these sanctions the only way to pull out of these problems is just finding a job others are opting to find a job like work as a waiter work as a barman work as maybe a merchandiser or maybe working as a you know delivery man just to have money just to cushion the impact of these sanctions and in my next video i'm going to do a video of how foreign students are hustling during this trying moment this is what i just wanted to talk about how sanctions have affected us foreign students and how we are surviving thank you very much for watching thank you very much for your support and don't forget to like this video i'm back for more interesting videos because i'm almost graduating and thank you once again see you in the next video much love from aka macho 08